half a lot of fish. But a pound of fish in the summertime and the springtime will be a pound and a half fish. <laughs> you know, most of the time. That's right. Yeah, the same fish you catch in March, it's a pound and a half. You catch them in July. Okay. Yeah. But and a lot of it's location. A lot of location. You know, what's what's different? And I mean, I know you guys see it. You guys as bass guys have your big That's fish right. areas, sure. and then you okay. have your so what do you do? You know, we're going down here to catch, catch five bucks real quick, and then we're going to run out of fish for big ones all day. Uh, same deal. Okay. Um, we're, we're these. We're, they're, they're chasing big crappie. They're not going to catch forty-five in a daytime. Now I'm going to take two clients out and we're going to catch our 45 and we're going to catch some dandies right. mixed in all these 10 inches mm -hmm. because we're fish, fishing this big ball of fish and we're we're just catching these big, they're going one fish, one fish, one fish, you know, they're they're running through some trees that might be just a couple fish here, a couple fish there, but it's it's a different location. Well, and Jeff, that that, that goes a lot to like some of the guys that, that fish tournaments, that, that fish for bass, they're not geared to be able to get six or seven bites all day. They want to catch a lot of fish, so yeah. they feel comfortable going out and catching a 10 pound limit and then they call up the rest of the day or whatever. Yeah. Where myself and a lot of other guys are are more geared to, I don't really care about catching a lot of fish. You just want five big ones. I want to catch five great big ones. Yeah. That's the same. And that's the same. And that's same, the same. And, and, but everybody's different. I know people are like, Oh, all right, we got our first seven. Now we can start working on that. I mean, but yeah, no matter what your first seven is, you still want an upgrade. Right. But you know, we have, we understand, or a lot of us understand that you're going after one an hour, big fish. Okay. And and I mean, you're going to catch some other fish along the way that that, that are just happen to be there in the way. But when you're when you're isolating big fish, you're looking for it's about detail, it's about attention to details. There's there's always just a little bit something different about that big fish bite where they're hanging, what they're doing, so you can concentrate in on that depth of water or that particular type of structure um, to catch those big fish. And you go around and concentrate on just that only, but you're still only going to run across so many in the day's time. Sure, he's fishing at six eight feet of water. You're, you're swinging a jig. You're flipping a jig. Say you fish six foot of water, and you flip that jig out, and you're letting it swing. As soon as it yeah. gets back, boom, he drags it. You're not going to sit there and catch ten or fifteen doing that on that stump if you're chasing a big right. Because right. you're going to catch one good one. I was going to say more than likely he's the only one there, right? Yeah. And then you're going to fish thirty more trees, and then you're going to yeah. find you somewhere might, else. You might go six, six hours and catch nothing. And then in the last two hours, <laughs> they turn on. Bam, 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 bam. And they're like, and then you got seven. Yeah. You got seven. seven you got seven. The next seven trees you come to. Yeah. yeah they turn because on. in your mind, you're like, if I can't go out in a, in a six hour tournament or whatever and catch seven crappie, I'm going to go home and put my head to the sheet rock. Right. You know what I mean, like right. seven freaking crappie. Yeah, right. And, but like he said, chasing those big fish, you're only wanting those seven bites. You don't want 50 bites. Sure, you want you want nine. You if want you're getting up. fifty bites, you're doing the wrong thing to win a tournament. To catch a big one, that, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you're spending time chasing a bite that you know you're you're not there to win, right? You're there for you know we we might we're lucky if we you know, most generally when we know we got a good bag, we're still sitting there going, man, if we can just get rid of that one twenty three that's down there. Or that sure. 17, or you know, that, if we can just get rid of that fish, yeah. no we're good. Us. But you know, gotta uh, get rid of that. That's right. It's like I got a 375. I gotta get rid of. Uh, I need a. Five, I need another five pounder. <laughs> there's been there's been days that I knew it's over. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew. I mean, it, it's done. Look, it's done. Well, the pizza. Well, yeah. Hey, yeah. That's so funny because. I was telling a story about a solo pro that I won at Truman, like the first year that they had the solo pro series. I was fortunate enough to win three of those that year, but at 10.30 in the morning, I said, nobody else knew it, but the tournament was over. <laughs> I won it by 10.30. Everybody else was just fishing for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's only happened one time to me, but in the first hour, I knew it was oh, over. That's yeah. like, it's done. It's over. Nice. Yep. That's awesome. Oh, great feeling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great feeling. You're just like, well, that's no, what I And I've had it the other way. Oh, oh, 30 oh, minutes left. Gosh. It's Order over. pizza. <laughs> it's over. You want to weigh these in? Because I got some things to do. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yep. So this brings up an interesting topic, just because I follow tournament and my website, Tournament Lake Fishing and Bassing Bob does this as well, reports tournament results. Uh, that's going to be something we're covering. I've never fished tournaments. I've always been intrigued by it. What's the process? If some, There's a ton of people that talk about, gosh, I'd love to fish a tournament. Usually it starts with like a local little small lake up in Lee Summer Run from this bunch of 900 acre lakes. They're always posted in the Facebook groups. How do I get started doing this? How do you get started doing Crowder Masters, doing your guys' tournaments? Where does an angler start besides, you know, maybe having a boat? I know being a co-angler is an option. Um, can you guys kind of walk through that process on the bass side, crappie side, Mike? On the crappie side, and I think this is just true in tournament fishing in, in general, okay? Take a pile of money, all right, <laughs> and you say, this is, this is how much it's going to take for me to be a good tournament angler. And you're going to spend that whether you do it $50 at a time in a whole bunch of tournaments or let's elevate this a little quicker and let's spend four or five, six hundred dollars at a time and let's learn fast from, the, from, from, you know, from stronger fields. I mean, that's the way I look at it. If you want to get into tournament fishing, don't mess around. Mm -hmm. Dive in, get after it, get out there and compete against the best there is. I, I've done different things and, and I never learned anything from somebody that, that I could beat the first time I've done it. You, know? mm -hmm. uh, you need to be out there competing against the best there is and you will learn a lot faster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's going to cost you X amount of dollars, how fast you want to get there. You need a good book of excuses is the first thing. <laughs> yep. You know, cold fronts, <laughs> uh, wind change. <laughs> yeah. They just did just like the moon yeah. cycle. Yeah. Yeah. They were there. <laughs> I caught them pre fishing. Uh, you got to have all that. that. That's first. Before you can even catch a fish, you got to have some killer excuses. <laughs> yep. Sounds That's all right. right. So my advice, if you want a bass tournament fish, mm -hmm. the very first thing you need to do, and this is, this is no BS, you need to have a skill set. You need to have an expertise skill set. You, you may not be good at, or great at everything, but you need to be great at two or three techniques mm -hmm. that when your window is in front of you, you can, you can go through it. So if you're a great spinnerbait fisherman, if you're a great jig fisherman, if you're a great crankbait fisherman, or, or only one of those, okay, you need to hone your skills, hone your skills. And I'm not saying get in tournaments and hone your skills. I'm saying do your practice. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I played basketball in high school and went to college on a basketball scholarship. I was a great free throw shooter. I shot a million free throws. Mm -hmm. And just like what Dave and I were talking about before, I love golf now, and, and, and that's because of Bass and Bob. Mm -hmm. Because I got invited to Missouri Invitational the first year, and I'm, I'm pretty fair hand at Lake of the Ozarks, mm -hmm. but I learned real quick, I wasn't ever gonna win the Missouri Invitational if I didn't have a golf game. Mm -hmm. So, last four years, I have worked meticulously on a golf game, short game, long game, mm -hmm. in between, and everything else, and uh, that's what I would say is that those reps you do, like when you go to the court and you shoot, or you go to the baseball field and you take bad practice, anything else, anything that you want to do, you've got to put in the work mm -hmm. to get better. Once you get to a point where you think, okay, I think I'm solid. Just like what Mike was saying, don't go and enter a 10 boat tournament that doesn't have any competition. Mm -hmm. Because I always wanted to be the best. Yeah. I got my butt kicked a million times whenever I first got started. The godfathers of Truman Lake at that point in time, I mean, I can go down and list you names like Terry Thomas, Bobby Sullivan, Rufus Harris, Randy Workman. Those, those are names that nobody is probably gonna probably even know who they are, but those guys would beat you in their sleep. Mm -hmm. They didn't even have to get out of bed. And so I'm trying to cut my teeth in tournament fishing, and I've got all these guys that are XBASS competitors, and, and I mean just tough as nails. And that's the only way you get better, is competing against the best competition you can, because if you don't learn at a rapid rate, mm -hmm. then you understand that, okay, maybe this isn't cut out for me. Yeah. 
you have to learn on the fly. And be willing to learn. Yes, be willing to learn. My first year of fishing BASS, when there were still six invitationals, was 1993. That goes to show you that I'm only 38 years old. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> but, you know, in 1993, here I am, I mean, I'm like 20 or 21 years old, mm -hmm. and, and it's like I'm competing against David Fritz and Shaw Grigsby and Denny Brower mm -hmm. and all these stalwart names, you know, that have been the, the pinnacle of bass fishing. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I have got to do my homework. I have got to learn at a rapid rate right. because it's like, uh-oh, uh, I'm not going to make any money mm -hmm. and I'm going to go broke and mom and dad are going to kick me out of the house yep. type deal. <laughs> yeah. You know, so that's what it takes. You have to be confident in your skills. First, you have to attain some skills. You have to attain some skills and be good at them. And then you have to enter those events against people who are better than you. Mm -hmm. You always want to play up. And then once, and then there are some people who will say, yeah, I swung for the fences and, and didn't do it. Number 36 in the book. <laughs> <laughs> my, my opinion on that is you first have to know how to win mm -hmm. to win. Yeah, absolutely. Because you just don't go out and win. Yeah. It's like the, the majority of the terms that I've won, I have been catching fish, and all of a sudden you'll get that key bite. All of a sudden you get another key bite, and they get in the boat, and then they're like, oh, things are coming together. Pieces of the puzzle mm -hmm. are fitting just like this, and you're like, I've got a chance. It's just, it, I mean, the, the 2011 uh, Everstart that was at Lake the Ozarks, the first day I catch 17 something. Mm -hmm. The second day I go out and catch 16 something. It was like, okay, I make the cut. I'm like in third going out on the last day. Boom. I go out and catch another 17 and a half mm -hmm. pounds. I come in, I'm like, I feel pretty solid. Yep. I won by two pounds or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, on a multi day tournament, that consistent bite, that consistent weight. Yeah, one day events, you're gonna to have to catch 20 something. There's no doubt. Yeah. You know, it, and I'm talking about like the Ozarks in spring and mm -hmm. this, that, and the other. You know, much much the same here at Truman. I mean, my gosh, the <laughs> the fish are here now. Mm -hmm. The population is here. But what I'm saying is that you have to know how to win to win. Yeah. So I was one of those guys that took it upon myself that I logged my days, I looked back on my logs, on, on what the weather was, what the wind was, what, what all this was. Um, I had an extensive, and at that time, we didn't have Lake Master, we didn't have yep. avionics, you know, we had paper maps and we kept notes and stuff like that. And so, we wrote them. Yeah, we wrote on maps. And, and it's like, so I was kind of, I'm kind of an anomaly because I just I some, did it the hard way. Some of the clubs are, are neat, though. I really think that for a lot of guys, it's way well, to get you some. Yeah, and, 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 and I don't want to show. And I don't want to come off, you know, the wrong right, way. So right, don't, right. I, but what I'm saying is, is to to get better, yes. to learn. Is you need to be competing against the best, and that's what you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, I fish any tournament. I can, I can put my money in on because just because I love fishing in tournaments. Mm -hmm. And, and the biggest part of that is, is you need to experience how to plan a day. You need to be able to, you need a game plan, you need to go try to execute a game plan, you need to have knowledge on, you know, uh, you know how, my, how it should go. Right. <laughs> By the way, it never goes that way. Never. But, uh, but <laughs> all these experiences over time, <laughs> these experiences over time, that they start paying off. And, uh, and time, you know, putting time on the water and, and, and and knowing how to win, you know, when you you got to be thinking about. You don't have to go catch. In your case, you don't have to catch seven pound bass to win a tournament. Right. You got to catch a, a number for your five fish. Right. Just like we need to catch a number for our seven fish. Right. On Truman Lake right now, that number better be eleven and a half, twelve pounds. And uh, so you need to figure out how to go out and catch eleven and a half to twelve pounds. And, and it may take you. Uh, a year or two or five or in some in some cases never it's, it just never happens but uh, but you're only going to learn 
how to catch those bigger good weights by competing against the best sure. in the end. Absolutely. Yeah. You can't you, just fishing Tuesday night hog fights. Right. Doesn't. I mean, you know, like, nothing you against that. You want to get you on the water yeah. every week, but yeah. it's, it's not something where you're, it's going to advance you. We've been very way. fortunate on Truman Lake that when you enter a crappie tournament on Truman Lake. You're liable to have five of the top crappie fishermen in the United States competing right. against yeah. you. Right. Yeah. It's insane the competition here, and we we do the Truman Lake Series tournaments. And I mean, if you ain't showing up with your A game, you're going to get smoked Absolutely. by one of these ten or fifteen teams out there that are just studs every yeah. month. Yeah, and it's unreal. We've seen that for years here.